So taxi to Lexira, how much? It's uh, 20 dirham each. Taxi looks good. Fancy taxi. G taxi. Grand. I think this is one of the most famous beaches in Mirlift. But again, looks like it's a little under construction. It's got a nice big rock in the middle of it. Oh, there's a little arch in there. You can go right there. Mm -hmm. But it's no Lake Zero. That's our destination. Savage Beach, I think this is called. Maybe it used to be a, a sign for Lake Zero. Well, I guess we got to walk down this hill. Yeah, they drop you on the road and then you walk down to the beach. And it was 40 dirham. I feel like we should have got down to the beach for that. But what are you going to do? Eh? Have you seen anyone since we got here? Not yet. <laughs> I haven't even seen a goat. That's true. Not a cat. Not. The ocean's a very nice color today. This looks like a ghost town. But at least they got a pool, huh? Wow, and a jacuzzi, but it's all empty, nothing in there. It looks like a cool place. Yeah. I, I already like Lake Zero more than Mirror Lift. Hopefully we just don't get stuck on this cliff though. I really hope there's a way around. All right, I think this is the path down, huh? Yeah. I would go down right here. The stairs. And this is Lake Zira, nestled right on the beach. Someone posted in one of our messages in the community post that Sable de Or was the place they recommended. So we're gonna go check it out there. Look at that ocean. Look at those rocks. Lake Zira, very cool. <laughs> These stairs seem to be built about as well as that fort in mirror lift. They've seen better days. Watch your steps. It says entry, but the door is locked. Let's hit the beach. What do you think of the room, Andrea? Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Yeah, we got the ocean right in front of us, that's pretty cool. So our room is at the top here and looking down and empty terraces across the board. Lake Zira, this beautiful, beautiful place, currently a ghost town. Get here soon. And we got Andrea already walking ahead. We're heading toward the famous Arch of Lake Zira. One got washed away two years ago. So let's hope this one is still here today and didn't get washed away. Lake Zira is beautiful, charming, quiet for now. <laughs> The really colorful side of town. Let's see what prices are like here in Lake Zira. Normal price for coffee, tandiram. It's more expensive here than yeah, at our place. Eh? It's like double the price. But they, they got good menu here. Grilled sepia. Mm. Beautiful Lake Zira. So just a short walk from the village. We got the arch. We're gonna go there and hopefully make an acro yoga video. I think that tide's too high right now. Around the corner, little surf shop. And this is what you want, you know, quiet beach, surfing, beautiful scenery, easily accessible. I love Lake Zira, but it's so hard to see all the shiny plastic and glass, yogurt drinks, spoons, bottles, but the puppy seems to not mind. I mean, what, 
What the heck? There's an onion on the beach. How did that get there? Seeing this is really tragic. And I don't... I don't think it's iced tea in those bottles. These guys make me want to get out there and surf. Pretty nice wave going right now. Good left, really good left. And here the red rocks and mud have washed away to the beach with these rains. You got this nice red clay color going on in the sand. Now this is an ideal house for more acro close to the beach. You could hear the waves every day. Andrea found a little spot to squat. Nice way, log. Beautiful log. Where did this log come from? I don't know, like I, I think he came by the ocean from somewhere far away, maybe South America. You dream big, Andrea. This is how you make it. Now it's just paradise. Those two people sitting here all by themselves. I like this beach. We saw one person walking, two people reading, two people surfing. One dog. Po population of this beach, five right now. Loving doodle winter time, riding on a donkey, stuck a feather in her hair and called it macaroni. Do I look like crazy lady? Oh yeah. So we're here, almost the arch. Let's see how far we can go. But there'll be no standing in the arch today, that's for sure. As we get closer to the arch, I see some people in the shadow I couldn't see earlier. But here we go in the shade, a little hot for me on the beach. But if you could hear that sound, it's really amazing here. Now we're in it, in the shade, I could breathe again. Beautiful, wow. With this mist, so magical at this moment. Wait, like a Slovene doodle. Uh oh, uh oh. So we're not going to do acro yoga in there. Tide is coming on. Caution, you may get wet here, depending on the tide. And on the waves, of course. Get ready to get your shoes wet. Uh oh. It's really nice here, though. You see the picture, it's just like, oh yeah, it's an arch, it looks nice, but what's it like actually being there? It's pretty cool, but it's, it's kind of scary. It's like it could collapse. It looks less sturdy than that fort, that's for sure, in Maryland. Great arch. Big fan of the arch now. It's like, is it really as pretty as the pictures? And when you're here and you hear it, it's magnificent. It's coming. Look at those ridges. The other arch was I don't know, maybe that one? Yeah, now I see that mounted face. It's like, Dre says it's been cut, looks like it fell. Judging by the wind, I think this was created by wind passing through, not sure. And now our walk back to our hotel where Taj Sheen awaits. Feeling blessed right now to be walking this empty beach. Super grateful for this opportunity and to share it with everyone watching. Now we gotta creep around that rock. Some construction, just a little. It's quiet enough. Very nice. What do you think, Andrea? Beautiful, the reason we came here yesterday.
What a place. What a view. Private terrace. Private terrace. For private date lunch. Wow. I'm just eating bread. I'm so hungry. I'm sorry. Ah, frites. Oh. Tagine. Frites. So good, eh? Fresh. Tagine Islamen. Tagine Islamen. Islamen. Good appetite. Shukran. Bismillah. Thank you. Try the tagine. Fuki, Fukibara. Fukibara. It's good, huh? Tastes of legs there. Carried on the bun. Now watch out for the bones, though. So. Stop eating bread. It's good. It's maybe I'm just hungry. Andrea at the office, huh? Yeah, you like my office view? Pretty good. I like your jalaba more. Yeah, it's really warm. I recommend it. But let's go make some videos. Okay. We were here just two and a half hours ago. We had to tiptoe around this corner. Now the path is open. The goal is to do some acro yoga in the arch. Therapeutic flow. Private Lake Zira Beach. Look at this light. We are entering the tunnel of light at Lake Zira Beach. It's amazing. Lake Zira Beach at sunset. Wow. Look at more Accra entering the light. yoga shot Who wears the jalaba better, Andrea or me? Time for dinner before shops close at eight. Jebli Blazira. How are you doing, Jebli? Yeah, that's amazing, Blazira. Look at that little moon there. Yeah. Little Moroccan moon. What a beautiful place. Tajin is ready. Room service with the Tajin. Really good. Well done. Mm -hmm. We were just saying we haven't had tagine in a long time. Eating too much fast food these days. It's yeah. really good to get all these vegetables, courgette, carrots, mm -hmm. tomato. What are those, some peas in there? I think that's um, chickpeas. Mm, hummus. So I hope you liked coming along on our journey to Lake Zira today. We really enjoyed ourselves. It is a real treasure here in South Morocco. 
We don't know where we're going tomorrow. It's going to be a bit of an adventure, but thank you all for coming along and sticking it out with us. If you made it to this point, of course, subscribe. Hit that little bell for the notifications. I'm sounding just like a real YouTuber now. Of course, like and share with your friends. Drop any constructive criticism, comments, requests. We're all ears and all eyes. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.